Hi, this is Dominic, the maker of CSV Database. Today we're going to talk about do postback. So in order to get this JavaScript do postback to work, you have to add a script manager first, and then you have to add an ASP update panel. And the the ID of the pri this uh, primary image function has a do postback, and it just passes in the ID of the radio button. So you can see here, we'll go down to here it is the primary image function and it passes this dot ID it's JavaScript this dot ID and the ID is just the, the radio button primary image and this is inside of a repeater so you can see here this is this is the repeater control it's an image repeater and there's a radio button and when I click the radio button it does a post back see it just posted back to the server and what it's checking for is that the event arguments. The event arguments has uh, primary image, pipe, and then prime image ID. And what I do is I go and I split. I get my image ID with the split. There's my image ID. And I update all my images with the false as being the primary image. All of them are false. And then I go and I update the one that's the primary image ID I update it to true so all of them go false and then the image ID goes true and then I I rebind I go and get all the data for the the, the image data reader the data reader uh, image data reader I go and I get all the data and I, I rebind it and it updates the, the repeater control so that's how you do it. That's how that's how you use do postback. So in order to use the do postback, all you need to do is uh, put this uh, create a function. My I called mine primary image. You can call it whatever you want. You just pass in the ID of it. The func the the control. Just pass in the ID of the control. And I have a data. Uh, I put some data on mine. I have the image ID. So in jQuery. I go up here and I get the, that I use the ID and I get the data and that's my image ID. So this is my image ID and then I just flag it that it, it, I'm my event arguments that I'm using a primary image. The primary image event is what I wanted and then I just use a pipe to to re use my split and my split I get my my image ID out. So that's how you can you can pass in values and then also have an event handler. So it's like my event handler, primary image. I look for primary image, and I have, and then I have my my uh, image ID, and then I run my update. You can do updates, inserts, deletes. You can do the same thing with this do postback. So that's how you use do postback. All you got to do is add a script manager, and then add a, a update panel. And you don't even need anything inside the update panel. It just it's completely empty. You can't even see it on the screen. But that's how you, that's how you you can then use do postback. I haven't been able to get to work without using this. You have to use the the update panel and the script manager. So I hope you liked it. Subscribe. Uh, check out my CSV database. But that's how you use do postback. This is all about do postback. So I hope you liked it. That's how you use do postback to run custom events. Have a great day. Like and subscribe.